So on this fine spring day, uh, we are here to see our final raft of the season being installed on the Air Meadow Lock. We've already had three put in by a non-profit organisation called Green Future Building. We used to have a really big black-headed gull colony here, hundreds of pairs, thousands if you go back long enough. About 30 years ago that colony was lost for various reasons. We've been wanting to get that colony back, so these nesting rafts are hopefully going to help us build on our success from last year when we finally had 17 pairs again. And the one we're putting in today is what you'd call a bio haven. Uh, so it's got planted areas, uh, provides habitat above and below the water, and that's being put in by a company called Frog Environmental. It provides again, floating island space for birds to nest on, roost on, um, just loaf about on if they want to. Um, but it also provides habitat for plants. So it's planted up with native local species. So you get that habitat above water, wildfowl might nest inside that because they like a bit of cover but the roots are allowed to go down into the water and that does various things. So it can clean the water slightly from impurities and pollutants, but also provides really good shelter habitat for invertebrates and fish. Are we, loose? we get quite a lot of wind here and that can make it very challenging when you're trying to get a boat out and towing a heavy object behind you. Um, managed to get the raft in position. Thrilled with that and looking forward to seeing how it settles in. Um, and it's looking really good from where I was standing. People will be able to see that nice and clearly, but it's far enough out that the wildlife won't be disturbed. So yeah, very happy with that. Very different to last time. Uh, I think we had howling gales and rain and it wasn't very pleasant but we've got lovely weather today and yeah it's going really well. Um, you might be able to hear the gulls but they're settled on all the new rafts. Um, it looks like we've got about 30-35 pairs which is double what we had last year. It's kind of the most exciting and the most stressful time of year at the same time because you know it's great that they're nesting we think oh we're gonna have chicks and the colony is expanding but also it's like the highest risk time when anything could go wrong and you know gull colonies are always a bit crazy there's always stuff going on so you don't know what's going to happen next largest raft that we put in which is a biohaven style raft it's looking pretty good actually the plants are taking um, you'll always lose a few but most of them seem to be putting on some good growth they haven't been grazed down by anything so I think by the end of the summer that should be looking nice and full so at least a couple of pairs of black-headed gulls um, looking like they're nesting. So we were expecting birds to roost on it, not necessarily nest, but it's a safe floating platform just like the rest. So not a huge surprise that they're using it really.
A lot of the things we've been doing in recent years is adding small bits of what you might call extra complexity. There's lots of smaller, more natural changes for the most part that add up to a greater whole. Stack all of those up over time and over space and it makes the whole place a lot more resilient. More options for more different species. So your whole assemblage of wildlife increases and becomes more not only more um, kind of numerous and widespread, but also more resilient because if something fails in one area, it's got an option over here. Sometimes you've got to take a step back and actually, you know, look at the reserve as a whole because we get so focused on each specific thing and then it's on to the next project straight away as soon as one is finished. I mean, we've got all these rafts which are providing great breeding habitat. got the new scrape over in front of the visitor centre which has got in the last three years we've added three breeding species to the reserve. Um, we've got new habitat creation that we've done in the fen um, we've got different species like shoveler are now breeding in there, common sandpiper are breeding in there. Um, yeah it's really satisfying.